What's going on guys? Marco from Oculera Shop. We got a very special guest here for the first time ever joining me live in the shop above the shop. KB Muse, let me know what's up. KB Muse, thank you for having me on the show. I'm excited to do an interview today. That's right, got a lot of questions. You know, you're a young prospect up and coming here in Las Vegas in the scene. I gotta say, the first time I saw you perform ever live. Oh, that's right. January 1st, Friday. The first time ever take live photos of KB Muse outside the bedroom. That's right. Uh, tell me, tell me a little bit about that. You were at the, the January first Friday. You were up at Fresa's. Yeah. Shop. Okay. So the band that I was performing with, Eric, his name is Eric Torres. We went to school together, and he's in a band called uh, Bad Juju. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And um, I did like a rapping thing at school, and he asked me to come down there. So I was just down for first Friday, and then he said, um, "Come see if I can freestyle on the microphone," and I was like. I can't freestyle, but I'm gonna try it, and it ended up being really good. It was cool. It was really fun. Yeah, I was very impressed. Uh, everything was put together. The lots, of, and I even put it out there. Lots of young talent. That's how I know. Yeah. The lots of the music scene is some good hands. There's all that young talent. Everybody's hungry. I just also. Oh very, yeah, and that photo you took of all of us standing yeah. there. I love that photo. Yeah, I was very impressed <laughs> with everybody. Now, it's a big group of kids. It is a big group of kids. Lots of young talent. I, you got all. You guys got a bright future there. Yeah. Now, how did this music thing come about? When did you start like? Okay. Get into music. So my dad used to rap back in the day, way back in the day. No offense to my dad, but way back in the day. Um, but he never like chased it or anything. But he had like tracks and stuff. So I guess that introduced me to like making rap. But I just think listening to Tupac. Tupac. That's my favorite rapper ever. I love him. Tupac, uh, Erica, were all the old people. Um, old school. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> All the old school people, the old school people. Um, I just wrote poetry too, so I don't know, the dots connected. I was like, let me, just, let me see if I can put a beat behind this. And then I tried to do the singing thing, and it just, it wasn't cute. So I, I guess I just started rapping. All right. Now, at what point did you decide you wanted to pursue this full time or try to make something out of it? Uh, I would, ooh. I would give that credit to LVA, definitely. Because there are singers there who are constantly chasing it. And if they can do it, I can do it. So it kind of felt like competition a little bit. So I used that and I started chasing it. And I, I don't know, I love it so much. People say that you should always try to find a job that you can take into the real world. So if I could choose to be anything, I think I would choose to. No, I would choose to be a rapper full time. That'd be cool. So yeah. Well, that's the thing with artists, and I tell this to a lot of people. If you love what you do, it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah. If you feel like you're going towards something you love to do, you're not exactly. miserable. Like when you're at a job, sometimes people are miserable and they just want to. Oh, I wish I was doing this. When you're actually out there doing it, it doesn't feel like a job. Yeah. It's like a passion. And so far, as I've been like pushing out content, like trying to like think of ideas to push out and stuff, I've been. Like it doesn't feel like work. It doesn't feel like I have to. Oh, I have to post again. I have to post again. Except a little bit sometimes. But that just means you know, you have to keep going. Yeah, you gotta push it out there. But it doesn't feel like work now, and I hope I don't ever lose that like that feeling of just making music, just to be making music. Yeah. As long as you're consistent with what you're doing, you can succeed in anything. Right. So that's like the key to success. No matter what you're doing with music, whether you're in sports, no matter whatever, just be consistent. Right. It's worth it. You know. Little little, uh, little gem for you, a little verbal gem. Be consistent. <laughs> yes, yeah, so be consistent, and the more you post, the more you see that it matters to be consistent. But you have to just keep, like, don't wait to start, you know? No, I understand. You just released a song. The song just dropped. Let's I did. I did. It's called song. Watch How Day. It's on all platforms Spotify, Apple Music, Muse, that weird app where it's like the ads are blocked or something. It's on that too. So you have to check out my music. Now, as far as the, uh, the music you've been releasing, why, why now? And how long has it been, uh, you know, uh, time in the making? I, I have a lot of songs in the book, so I don't know. The more you, like, sit with them, I think it's harder to release them. So before my mindset was, like, on a schedule, I had to post uh, every month, you know what I'm saying? And, but I just, I don't know, over the summer, I think now that I... I'm done with school. It's I'm on my own free time. Like I can really start like pushing my stuff out there. Now you mentioned school. I understand next month you're gonna be going off to college. I am. Well, fact, pride. What are you and I? Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you plan to major in? 
Um, I'm majoring in communications, that's what I'm going into. But I do plan on switching to public relations, only because I feel like in public relations I can kind of work my way into like social media and radio. So that's what I would try to navigate my way into. That way I can tie both of them together. You're definitely on the right path. A lot. There's a lot of overlap. You know, I went to school for journalism. Yeah. It kind of ties into communications. Public relations is another side of journalism, so it all kind of blends together. Right. And that's, that's definitely going to help you out in your future when you're trying to put your stuff out there, promote yourself as a brand. Mm -hmm. So you're definitely in the right direction. Right. Now, once you're up there, are you still going to try to do any open mics, any performance type things while you're in Reno? Yeah, absolutely. There's actually a, a, a radio type of group on campus called Wolfpack Radio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, uh, their goal is to like, feature artists on campus and their like, videos and on their radio. So I would try to get into that and try to work my way into being a part of that. But yeah, I wouldn't stop. Uh, it's my new song playing right now, guys. <laughs> A B. <laughs> um, I would try to work that into into my time up there in Reno for sure. Right. I'm excited. Excited. The song is okay. We got some here. There's some here. I love this song. I really love this song. And I'll tell you straight. I don't give my endorsement to just anybody, but I see you got a bright future in this. As long as you stay consistent. I will stay consistent because you've been chasing me for what? It's been like two years now. You know, I'm staying consistent with the with the. Uh, the shop, the exactly. Shop. Like we both like putting pictures out. I see you like have other uh, interviews with people. Go check out his other interviews, guys. Please. Interviews. And go check out his other interviews, guys. <laughs> I forget about y'all. I've been neglecting this camera. I forget about y'all. Um, yeah, but I thought we both like. I don't know. Something about this summer has really like kicked in. That it's like time to like. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to wait to push your content out. So. Yeah, when you're hungry for it, you just go after it. Yeah, and keep chasing it. Like that hunger, it has to like, last. It has to last. As soon as you're not hungry anymore, you get comfortable and then you stop posting. That's what happened. Like I started posting the two songs when people at school were like, talking about it, and then they stopped talking about it, and then I was kind of like, oh. You make a real good point. Well, I have other things to do anyway. You know, well, we all do, <laughs> but you bring up a good point. When you get too comfortable. You start sleeping, you start slacking on things. Somebody Dead else is going ass. to the show. Somebody Dead else ass. is posting photos. Somebody else is doing things that you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, that's how I got started too. Because everybody else around me was just fucking pushing out music and music and music. I was like, there's no reason I should it. And my music is different, you know. I'm different, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I feel my music is, is good enough to be putting out there compared to... No, I'm just gonna end the sentence right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, where would you like? To, you know, everybody wants to succeed, but where would you like to see your music take you? Where would you like to go with this? Mm, I think ever since uh, quarantine, we've all kind of been just like brain dead, and like we like Ice Spice, Sexy Red, Ian. Okay, I'm not gonna say they they aren't great artists or anything, cause you know. I'm a dance to their music, like, I'm, I really am going to shake ass to their music, like, I can't lie. But I do feel like it just is very different compared to what I grew up listening to, and I want people to be able to feel that feeling I got when I grew up listening to something. It was like, then, like, a song has a, a good ass, like, bar, like, a sentence, you know what I'm saying? Like, poetry, but it's about how to beat, and it's catchy. I just feel like everybody should be able to, like, get into that again instead of, you know, just listening to music about stupid shit. Because at the end of the day, it's stupid shit. What I was saying, you're a fart or whatever? Or you, uh, yeah, you're not shit, you fart. I don't know what the fuck she said, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I want people to just, you know, you can enjoy music and it still be lyrical and, <laughs> and more than some uh, dumb ass shit. Yeah. Now, what would you like to take your music in terms of um, the message you try to send to people? Uh, I think the message I want to send people is that there's another room for everybody. So if you have something you want to do, get your ass up. Oh, a message I want to say to people, get your ass up. Though. Nobody is going to do anything for you. <laughs> no one's going to do anything for you. And if you have something that you want to do, you have a dream, chase your dream, bro. Like, everybody is going to fuck with it. Nobody's going to fuck with it. Some people are going to fuck with it. You know, it just, it doesn't matter. Just do it, do it because you want to do it and chase it while you're young. You're never going to have the time again. So I would... Be conceited, be narcissistic, 
Uh, don't let anybody tell you shit. Especially if you're in the music industry specifically, don't let nobody tell you shit. If they don't fuck with it, they don't fuck with it, okay? That's, yeah, that's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell people, you know, if I leave them with one quote, it's this. It takes years to become an overnight success. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You have to just start posting now. Like, the time is now. Stop waiting. I used to, like, not post uh, certain, like, content, like my freestyles and stuff like that, because the phone was bad quality, like, I didn't know how to put the lyrics on the video yet, and if you don't look at my, or you can't anymore, because the KB News underscore C page is gone, that was my original Instagram page, <laughs> um, but I used to just post, like, the worst quality stuff, but it was still my stuff, and you were still able to watch it and see that I can rap, you know what I'm saying? So, but now my uh, page is way different, it's more, you know, more time put into it, more quality, but it, it takes time, like you said. It does take time. It takes time, so it's like a portfolio, just build your portfolio, and you can slowly get rid of the things that, you know, you have to push out. Now, for the people who want to follow your journey and see what you're about and see where you're going to go, where can they follow you? Where can they find you? Um, KB News on all platforms for my music. Stream, watch how they, it dropped this month. Stream it, stream it. Give me the 1K streams, please. Please. Um, and underscore Ken Bolden for Instagram and underscore Ken Bolden for TikTok. Follow me. So I'll be doing KB News live in the shop, above the shop. Thanks for coming down. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. You're going to go places. Be consistent. You're going to go a lot of places. Oh, and we took great photos, and we did a nice little... We did some for y'all. So don't forget to check that out on his page. What's your page? Aguilar Shop. Yeah. Don't forget to check it out, guys. Right, well, thanks for joining me in the shop. Gotcha. <laughs> don't forget to follow.